looking for a politician that is very dangerous and an hypocrite, I think Asari Dokubo should be number one because this man is a, is a green snake on a green grass. Are you coming to expose Tinubu right now? Like after he's, he become the president of Nigeria, and what do you want people you are exposing him to, to do? To remove him as of now? It's impossible to remove him as of now unless to the 2027 general election. So, um, concerning this update, I'm here to reveal to you what actually Drokubo actually exposed about Bola Metinubu, which is supposed to have exposed it before, you know, Tinubu become the president of Nigeria. But, you know, then he was siding Tinubu. He was siding Tinubu because he know the benefit he's going to gain if he comes, if Tinubu become the president of Nigeria. And he have claimed Tinubu was the one who saved him from prison. While he was in prison, he claimed it was Tinubu that is taking care of his wife and his children. According to what he said in his previous, you know, um, statement a few months ago. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are watching my video for the very first time, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also do me a favor to turn on the notification bell icon. So whenever I put out a new video on this channel, you watching this video will be among the four set of people to get the notification. Okay, so former Nigerian Ninja Delta insurgent Asari Dokubo has launched a harsh attack on President Bola Metinubu's policies in a recent viral video that is making the rounds on social media platform. He claimed that these policies have caused death and miseries among the Nigerian people. So it's now you know that all the you know all what they are doing is causing death in Nigeria. You don't know before. Now you have achieved what you want, start benefiting what you want. You are now coming out to say another different thing. Asari Dokubo, you deserve to be in jail. I'm very, very serious. You deserve to be in jail. So the Kubo, a former um Tinubu supporter, voiced his profound dissatisfaction with the way things are going under the president's direction. You understand? So you know why when all these politicians will come out to talk it's maybe what he, 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 he think he will benefit from Bala Metinobu's um regime is not actually coming you understand and maybe Bala Metinobu is not doing him well you understand you know most of these people are people that plan work together to see that Bala Metinobu becomes the president of Nigeria maybe things is not going as he expected and that's why he's now out to be saying another different thing on, on Bola Ahmed Tinubu so um I, okay, this is not the um, Ahmed Bola Metinubu, the Ahmed, the Ahmed Bola Tinubu I know. <laughs> this man is actually funny. So, you're now saying now, Bola Metinubu is now the president of Nigeria. Started carrying Nigeria upside down. You're now starting to say, this is not the Bola Metinubu you know. Like, what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say when you were voting him in, when you were siding him, when you are doing everything, collecting little, little change and everything from him, extorting money from him just to, you know, make sure um, he has a lot of supporters to win the 2027 election and uh, 2024, 2023 election. You are now coming out to say um, Bola Ahmed Tinubu is not who you know. Like, are you trying to deceive everyone in Nigeria? If you can deceive everyone in Nigeria, not some people. Some people, you can't deceive them, okay? So, he's still saying... I doubt this is the same guy I know in 1992. Look at foolishness. This man is actually is actually foolish. You understand? He's a foolish man because he's a politician without direction. He don't know what to do. He's anywhere. He sees that the money is coming. He's going there. He, he, he doesn't have any direction. He doesn't have any good intention for Nigeria. You understand? So that's why APC are not supposed to be ruling Nigeria. You see the APC. APC are not supposed to be ruling Nigeria because APC are full of wicked and terror terrorist people. You understand? That don't have good thing for Nigeria. You understand? So, the man who referred to me as his Obi, my son, and the man I called my father. Look at him. Calling Tinubu his father because Tinubu did small thing for him. Few, I think few years ago while he was in prison. So the former militant commander continued by emphasizing that Tinubu, whom he had previously supported, is not the same person now in charge of the nation. The Cuba statements have surfaced him mounting worries over Tinubu's policies effects, especially in the Niger Delta. So now the the policies is now affecting him and affecting people in um um, um Niger Delta affecting everybody in the country you are now coming out to say that this is not the Tinubu you know what has Tinubu done dif before that is different from the Tinubu now I'd like sometimes 
this our politician just judge uh, follow people based on money and popularity they don't use intelligence in the sun you can compare the intelligence of pitobi to be to that of bola metinubu bola metinubu doesn't have any good intentions for nigeria you understand why he just out there just to go there know how he can arrange himself and try how he can do things that will benefit him embezzle the money of the public and he will leave and the children will be flaunting the money online and most of us will still go be following him and be saying hey jagaban jagaban since when he have become the president of nigeria you that voted him if you know you voted bala metin will come close what have you benefit from bala metin will share it in the comment section i want to know i don't need to hide it we are here to talk to each other what have you benefit what have you what is your benefit from bala metin I know there's nothing you might like to say because even look at the way things is going on. Go to a fuel station near your area, you are going to know that hmm, we are seeing what is called worst. It's an under We are starting to see the beginning of what they call worst. Because this man is not ready to do anything. Why those people are fighting for Bola Metinubu to become the president of Nigeria? Because they know Bola Metinubu is not that um mentally and physically fit. You understand? He will always send people. So those people he's sending are the one ruling us now. You understand? That the one those people around him are the one ruling us, not Bola Metinubu. You understand? Bola Metinubu, if there is not somebody that is mentally and physically fit to become a president of of a big nation like Nigeria, you understand? So that's why they fight hard to seize the one, so that you know they can embezzle a lot of money and rule the country. So let me hear from you in the comment section. See you in my next video.